What is up, sports bettors? It is Matt Modai with Ajdam coming to you with some sharp college football best bets for today. Very exciting stuff. These games are being played today. We no longer have to wait for college football. We had week zero, which is kind of weird, last week. Week one starts today. We have a bunch of games, and I am finding sharp, profitable bets to make for these games, specifically for today's betting slate. So Thursday, September 1st, of course, using Odds Jam to find these positive expected value plays. Odds Jam provides betting opportunities in which you gain an edge over the sportsbook with these bets. Generally, sportsbooks hold the edge over the users of their platform because of the VIG. It's an unfortunate reality of sports betting is that sportsbooks price up odds a little bit by charging a VIG, and that's pretty much how they make their money, by charging the VIG. So getting opportunities where we are beating the VIG, we are beating the no VIG line, is incredibly important, and that is exactly what uh, Odd Jam shows you in terms of these betting opportunities. And even more so, um, we are a couple weeks into the well, recommended filters where the Ajdam software is checking all of the different bets, all of the lines, and only providing the most profitable betting opportunities for you guys. So if you have been watching this channel for a long time now, you hear a bunch about best practices in terms of what we should be doing when positive expected value betting. Well, with these recommended filters turned on, all that work is done for you. All the market width is going to be tight. All of the betting opportunities are going to be outliers across the sharpest sports books in the world. So the new formula takes into account not only Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book in the world, but also looks at other sharp books like Bet Online and creates a weighted average and only provides betting opportunities where you are getting more favorable odds than that weighted average. All in all, it goes to this percent here. It gives you a profit margin, a mathematical profit margin, how much you could figure to make on each betting opportunity that you are selecting. So I have three, count it, three, College football bets for today, profit margin of 1.64% in the Oklahoma State versus Central Michigan game, 1.9% in the Purdue versus Penn State game, and about 3.5% in the Arizona State Northern Arizona game. So add all those together. If you put 100 bucks on each one, you could figure to get a profit margin of roughly 7%, something like that, just for doing the math, loose, math loosely at the top of my head. So you're not breaking the bank, but you have to keep in mind that these are only... Uh, three bets, you're probably placing a ton more over the course of a day, and it's going to be settled tonight. So generally, you know, people, if you want to equate this to the stock market, people make on average 8% return year over year. That's 8%, and that's for a full year. We are getting 7% tonight on these college football bets. So something to keep in mind, um, unfortunately, I actually won't be able to lock any of these in. You probably see a different background. I am in a non-legal betting state. I am in Maryland, but I'm still going to add them to my bet tracker. They are still going to be tracked. So if you want to go to look at my bet tracker, just to see how things are up 13 K since I've been using Ajian, which is almost exactly a year now. So 13 K in a year that includes just an awful, awful down stretch here, 5%. ROI, which is pretty good. So if you, however, however much you are betting on a day, you can kind of glean what you would make based on the ROI. So this first bet here, we're looking at Central Michigan plus 24 against Oklahoma State. This is at minus 125 on Fox Bet. This is the play, Central Michigan plus 24. So the odds on Fox Bet, as I mentioned, we'd be taking it at our minus 125. The odds jam line, uh, with the VIG removed, and this is, in, again, including a weighted average of all the sharp sports books, price this at about minus 130. So the gap between minus 130 of the no VIG odds, that is the minus 130 is the no VIG true line, prices this at minus 130. And the gap between that and minus 125 is where we get our profit margin from. So that is where this 1.6% comes from, can also be viewed as your percent edge over the sports book, however you want to phrase it. That's kind of what the percent means. Basically, the bigger the gap between these two numbers, the bigger this percent is going to be. But 
It doesn't mean you should only be betting on bigger percents. If you are using the recommended filters, even the smaller percents on here are still valuable bets because they're still outliers across all of the sharp sports books. So definitely still worth taking in taking. And for this one specifically, so for spread bets, what I love to do is if you click into a play, it takes you to uh, the odds of this individual bet. So in this case, just the minus one, tw minus 24, excuse me. But if you open this in a new tab, view event page, it gives you odds for every book and it also gives you the main line. So as we can see, most books are pricing this spread around 21 and a half or 22. Now we are buying about, what's that, like a point here? We are buying a point, point and a half, getting this on Foxbet at minus 125. But just look at this value across every other book. We're getting it a full two points above the closest main line, two full points. And if you look at how this main line is priced, Bet Online, really sharp sports book, says the most likely scenario is that Central Michigan covers plus 22, as does the Ajian line. They say it's more likely that Central Michigan covers plus, one to, plus 22 by the way they are pricing the odds. Odds Jam is pricing Central Michigan plus 22 at minus 112. The other side of it is at minus 102. So they are favoring the Michigan side here. Same thing with Bet Online, minus 115, minus 105. And then every other book is pricing this at 21 and a half. So again, we are buying a point here, getting this at minus 125, but it's still a positive expected value play when you compare it to the Odds Jam line that prices this at minus 142. And then when you just look at where the rest of the betting market is pricing this, you understand just how valuable, even with the worst odds, getting this at plus, 120, plus 24 at minus 125, excuse me. So this is going to be my first bet that I'm taking. I'm putting a unit on this one. I, theoretically, I would love to put a real unit on it, but I can't. Um, so I'm putting 100 bucks Central Michigan plus 24 against Oklahoma State. I think it's a really sharp, profitable bet. So the next one, we are looking at the Purdue first half money line at plus 135, again, on Foxbet. So something is being found on Foxbet with these odds. Uh, so for money line, you don't need to go into the market like I did. You could just click here and it shows you where every book is pricing this money line. But one thing that's really cool that Odds Jam does is it gives you the average odds as well as the best odds. So in this case, we see the average odds have this at plus 126. And Foxbet has this a full nine cents higher at plus 135. If you look at all of the books, no book is pricing this above plus 125. Bet Online, Sharp Sportsbook has it at plus 125, as does the Odds Jam line has it below that at plus 122. So this is another example where we are getting a true outlier at this price. It's not exactly the same because we can't we don't have other spreads to compare it to, but just from an odds perspective. We see this one as a true outlier, a true, sharp, profitable betting opportunity. All in all, equates to a profit margin of roughly 2%. So to calculate this, the no big odds have this at about plus 130, plus 131. And again, Foxbet has it at plus 135, which shows you, which is where you're getting your profit margin from, that gap between these two numbers. So this is my second bet for today. This is just going to be a half unit play for me. I'm not putting a full unit on this one. Just going to put a half unit. Click save. And then the last play for today's betting slate. So again, three, my third sharp uh, profitable bet, Arizona State minus 27 plus 105 on, on Fox bet. Arizona State minus 27 plus 105 on Fox bet. So the no big odds have this at about minus 102, giving you a profit margin of about three and a half percent. So a little bit higher profit margin than the other two betting opportunities, but I still took them because they're still sharp. And in this case, we actually, if we wanna open it up in a new tab. So this is not a situation where we are buying points anymore. In this case, we are taking advantage of a pricing discrepancy specifically at this minus 27 total. So for whatever reason, Foxbet has this priced at minus 25 and a half. They have a little bit, for whatever reason, they're favoring the underdog more in this game, Northern Arizona, which means if we get Arizona State at the same line that every other book has, we can get it at plus 105 odds. So we see Bet Online prices this at minus 120, favoring the minus 27 side. So Bet Online is telling you the most likely scenario here is that this 
that Arizona State covers minus 27, and we're getting it all the way at plus 105. So another example showing you just how powerful the software is, how powerful line shopping is, and just how much money you can make with these strategies. So this is going to be another unit play, and those are going to be my three college football bets for today. So they are all added to my bet tracker. Central Michigan plus 24, Purdue first half money line plus 135, Arizona State minus 27 plus 105. Those are my three bets. So if you're tailing, would love to hear it. Let me know. Comment on the video with your feedback. Other than that, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the IJM YouTube channel, and share with your friends. All that good stuff is super helpful. And that's it. So thanks for watching and have a good one.